Hurricane Helene's impact continues to be felt in our area, including for those who are traveling. Today, the North Carolina Department of Transportation sharing that a portion of I-40 in the Pigeon River Gorge will remain closed indefinitely. Now, with this being such a high traffic area, 6 News reporter Naomi Hilmer learned how drivers are going to be impacted. I-40 is a very heavy truck route across America. We have 1,500 trucks all across the U.S. As crews work to stabilize what is left of Interstate 40, businesses like Pilot, who rely on ground transportation, are feeling the repercussions. And we've just had to work with it, add some extra capacity to areas, um, add extra trucks and drivers to try to backfill some of these different routes and really change where supply comes from. Now trucks and all other traffic into North Carolina will have to detour to Virginia through Interstate 81 and approach the state from the north. What, what was maybe a three and a half hour drive now is a five hour drive and I know that's gonna put some constraints on supply chains and drivers, truck drivers as they come through this part of the country. We're just doing everything we can to, to keep things moving until these things get fixed. For those at Pilot, they say each day is different and they are learning to adapt to the changes as they come. Certainly, I know it's a big engineering feat and we want the roads to be very safe first and foremost uh, with all the traffic on the road. So that's, that's probably our biggest goal. And as fast as that can happen, we will be eagerly awaiting to, to get back to normal, as I'm sure most folks, not just semi-trucks, but the traveling public in their cars headed east for various things. It's going to be tough for a while. And as they wait patiently, North Carolina Department of Transportation says once their remaining lanes are stable, they will move to a complete repair. In Knoxville, Naomi Hilmer, 6 on your side. A while it will take a while for North Carolina's side of I-40 to be complete. For the Tennessee side, TDOT tells us while they do not have a date yet, they plan to open one lane on each side through Cock County up to the state line for local traffic. We'll let you know when that happens.